Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do another January reading for you. This is for the end of January. This is for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, I focus on love. We're going to see whatever comes up. We got to take it. Ooh. Envy. Interesting. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. Interesting. <laughs> We're all equal. You're not lacking anything. Keep that in mind. Everybody has their vices. Everybody has their problems. Nobody's perfect. You may feel like you have to live up to somebody else's expectations or, you know, you may be jealous of what somebody else has, but what you see is just what's on the surface. Virgo. Virgo. Mmm. Perfect. Gentleness. Be gentle with yourself. Be gentle on yourself. You're beautiful just the way you are, right? Seriously. Be kind to yourself. Everybody has challenges. You are pure just as you are. That's who you are supposed to be. Other people, this is how other people see you. Other people see you as a very kind, gentle human being. They really do. Other people may be jealous of your purity, of your kindness, of who you are. Just keep that in mind. And if somebody is jealous of you, remember to, you know, react with your true self, you know. It is what it is. That's their own challenge, right? We all have challenges. A challenge at the end of January is going to be envy and jealousy. Whether it's on your side or the other person's side. It's going to be a factor at the end of January. Virgo, end of January. Do you love it when that happens? You know, it could be a friend that's jealous of you. The three of Cups, that's friends. I mean, you could or you could be jealous of a friend. It could go either way. There's jealousy here. It could be... <laughs> a childhood friend. Somebody that, you know, you've been friends with for a really, really long time. Maybe you're jealous of their happiness. Or you're jealous of their connection that they have with their partner. Or they're jealous of you. Somebody is jealous of another person's happiness. 
And that is the truth here. Somebody is absolutely, I'm going to zoom this in in a minute, is jealous of another person's happiness. Whether they're jealous of yours or you're jealous of theirs, there's definitely some jealousy here. There's, um, hmm, let me just get these rest of these cards laid out. Ooh, interesting. So it looks to me like maybe you want that connection that they have with their partner. You want that true love connection. But maybe you're in a situation that isn't so. It's like somebody is in a situation that is not joyous, okay? It's not. Here we have the Eight of Cups. Somebody may not be taking action to follow their heart. It's like you need to go on a mission. You need to take the power back. This is the Eight of Cups. And, and she's about to go on a mission, to get in her ship and go on a mission. So it's like you're going to have to face the unknown because when you go on a, this mission, you're going to go into space where not very many people have been, right? You're going to go to a space where not very many, where, where you would have never been, right? So it's like you have to go on this mission. You know you got to go. It's time to go. It's like it's time to go. It's time to go. But in order to go, you're going to have to take action. You're going to have to follow your heart. And you might have to leave behind some friends or something like that. Leave behind some old memories of the past. Six of Cups reversed. Leave behind perhaps a relationship or some family. This is family kind of thing. You might have to turn your back on some people that are holding you back from true love, whatever it is. Something is holding you back from love. And it does have to do with your past or your memories or somebody that you've been committed to. Okay? So it looks like you have a choice to make. This is a difficult choice. Do you choose to stay where you're at or do you choose to go on this new mission? I think deep down you are jealous of other people's true love connections. It's like I want that true love connection, but in order to get that true love connection, you probably have a new connection with somebody but you're you're clinging to something that doesn't serve you but anyway in order to get that that perfect match that you are probably run into or you're about to run into spontaneously it's already either it's already happened or it's gonna happen you know you're gonna have to shed the old and take action but there's fear of shedding the old right there is there is Four of Pentacles reversed. You need to, it's like you want to hold on to your stability. You're stable where you're at, but it's like you can't fight gravity. You can't fight what isn't meant to be. That's never going to go in because it's upside down. This is upside down. Something is going to fall away. It's not stable it's not secure you can't no matter what it's not gonna go in she you can try to you can that's like a bank okay and if it was upright I'm trying to put them trying to save something you can't save it. it's not gonna happen no matter what no matter how hard you try to get it in that it's not going to happen And somebody may be lying to themselves. This is manipulation. This is manipulation as well. It's like it, is, it really is if you take think, think about it. Somebody is trying to fight gravity, fight what is. It's 
it's like pretending the magician reverse it's like pretending that they're happy somebody is pretending that they're happy in a relationship and it's time to move on it's like somebody it's like the universe or god or angels has brought somebody in to help as a catalyst somebody is like here to rescue you from this situation that isn't making you feel whole. Somebody's coming to the rescue or somebody has come to the rescue to make you reevaluate your life, to make you reevaluate your happiness. And you are reevaluating it. It's clear. Okay? 666 Six six six, all right together. Six six six, six 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 is a time of reevaluation. Some and if you think about six six six, it it really is a devil number because it's a it's the journey to balance and harmony. The devil comes in to uh, manipulate you and um, keep you stuck in situations that don't serve you. It, it causes jealousy and envy. And so you, you know, if you want happiness, if you want true love, you're going to have to follow your heart. And I feel like you guys are, are holding on to something that is not stable. It's not secure. It's not meant to be. And it's time to go on your mission. It's time to shed the old. It's time to let go of the past. It's time to let go of whatever it is you're holding on to because you have a better match here. You have a better opportunity. It's like the universe or these angels have sent somebody to rescue you from your own unhappy situation, whatever it is. Yeah, but you, you're afraid. You're, you're afraid to be left out in the cold. You're letting your own insecurities hold you back. And you could be stuck because of a child. It's like I can't I can't allow you to rescue me because of my children or because of my child or something like that. You know, there's a definitely a something is holding you back, that's for sure. It's holding you back from accepting this offer, this rescue. It's like somebody has come to the rescue. They're brought to you from an angel above. They're asking you to shed something, to shed your insecurities and let them help you. But, you know, you're trying to control the situation. You could be dealing with an Aries. Somebody is wanting to protect you. Somebody is wanting to take care of you. But it's like you're you're trying to, to keep things under control. You're trying to keep things organized. But we have somebody here that really, really has the ability to take really, really good care of you. And they want to. They want to. This person will, will take care of you and your child or your children. Just saying the overall outcome this is a family man if you are the man watching this this is you needing to take on this energy take control of the situation don't lie to yourself somebody's lying to themselves with the magician reverse they absolutely are somebody's not taking action but they know they need to anyway um it's a time of reevaluation at the end of January in regards to making a choice about love. You know, you got two options here. You can stay right where you're at and be jealous of other people's happiness, or you can go on this mission and allow this person to help you. Allow this person to take care of you. Let go of the need to control. Somebody is trying to make something work that's never going to work. 
end, you gotta see what you're always gonna see what's mirroring it. There's another option. There's a better choice. This is a better choice. You have a better option. And this is this card also signifies love heals. There's somebody in this dynamic that will help you. Seriously. We got somebody that is been brought to you from an angel, okay, to help you escape. Escape from something. It's like they it's time for you to escape. It's like you it's like you need to escape. This person, whoever this person is that is trying to help you as a leader, this person is a very respectable, very mature. This person is very wise. And they see, they see that you are insecure and they see that you are struggling. This person sees that you're struggling. This person also sees that you're lying to yourself, just saying. This person may see that you're clinging to the past, that you're clinging to something that doesn't serve you. And they're being patient. They are. They are being very patient. This person is so wise that they know that, you know, patience and sticking it out may just be the tool that proves, you know, the tool that proves that they are in it, you know, to win it, whatever it is. I think that you are dealing with a person that is very, very, very wise. Whoever this person is, they can take really, really, really good care of you. And they're just waiting. They're just waiting for you. They're waiting for you. Whoever this person is, they're waiting for you. They're waiting for you to allow them to take you away and hold your hand and build with you. And, you know, somebody is waiting for you. Somebody is waiting for you, Virgo. And it is a perfect match. And this is a choice between two. You, you're, you're stuck in a place, I think, for a lot of you. Not everybody, because this reading is not for every single person. Somebody is lying to themselves and they're stuck in a relationship that they don't want to be in because it's stable. When it's really not stable. It really is insecure. And it is time to go. But there's fears. There's fears of letting go of control. There's fears of, you know... Losing children, perhaps. There's fears of, you know, making the wrong choice. But whoever this other person is, they're the, they are your perfect match. They are your perfect match. And I think whoever this other person is, it's somebody you know. Somebody you, you've known for a long time, a long since you were young. could be even a past life. It could be a past life person. It could be. It's a soulmate anyway. Whoever this person is. Now we have... There could be some distance as well between you and this person. Whoever this person is, there could be some distance. You may need to... <coughs> This person may need to fly to you, okay? Or you may need to fly to them. But there's definitely a connection. But you need to make a conscious change to drop something that doesn't serve you. You guys are holding on to something that is holding you back. It's burdensome. It's heavy. You're holding on to something that is just baggage. It's it's not not serving you in any way. <laughs> and it's like you're trying you're giving it all you got, right? You're trying to stick it out to the bitter end. 
working extra, extra, extra hard to make something work, right? Doing everything that you can do, but you, you're, it's like, it's giving you a headache. It's so overwhelming that you're, it's like, it's, it gives you, it makes your head throb. You're in a situation that is unhealthy. It really is. And it's like, you keep looking for the answer. You keep looking for the answer. You keep looking for the answer, right? You're looking, looking, looking for the answer. And it's overwhelming. It's overwhelming. You're looking, oh, should, what should I do? What should I do? You know what you got to do. You do. You got to step outside of your comfort zone. You got to take control. You really got to take control. Stop seeing this through vic the eyes of, you know, I'm a victim of my circumstance. No, you're not. You're not. The time is almost up, right? What are you waiting for? You have the power. Take that power. Stand up. Speak your truth. Speak your truth. It's time to let go of the past hurts. This is the Three of Swords reverse. You gotta let go of them. It is. Let go of the past, period, okay? Somebody is holding on to the past, wanting love. And they have an opportunity for love here, but you just gotta make that right choice. Somebody is in an unstable foundation at home. It's not stable. It's not. Fours are foundations. And and they have been guided. You know, they've been brought a new opportunity for a perfect match. And, but they won't let go. They just won't let go of this unstable situation. They won't. It's time to feel alive again. It's time to stop holding on to those old ideas. Somebody is staying in a dead end situation. They're not allowing change that is meant to be destiny. It's time. You're, they're not taking the steps. Free will plays a part. There's a destined change that is needed. It's meant to be. Change is meant to be. But somebody is hindering it. They're hindering their new chapter. They're hindering their reward. They're hindering their uh, good fortune. Not allowing it to come into their life. There's a, there's a new love interest here. There is. But clinging to the past, being stuck where you're at, putting that wedge in the wheel, is going to continue to bring you bad luck. That's what this is reversed. When you don't follow the destined plan, you're going to continue to get bad luck. I mean, that's just the way it is. There's a chapter that needs to end. That's what this is. But somebody is refusing to allow it. The time is now. But free will does play a part. So if you like shit to roll downhill, well, stay right where you're at because that's what's going to happen. It's time for a change. This, I mean, this is as clear as mud. It's time to make that decision to find peace. To get the hell out of the situation you're in. You gotta you gotta take that step. You gotta pedal away. It's, it's up to you. It's not an easy decision, right? If you want balance. You're going to have to find a way to get out of whatever situation you're in and take the power back.
Some of you are jealous of another person's connection when you have it. You could have it. You could have it. But you got to stop clinging to something. You're clinging to something that doesn't serve you. And it's time for you to take that step. That is the advice. Take that step. You can do this. You need to love yourself. You need to put yourself first. There's somebody else. There is somebody else. I know that there is. And you need to be practical. You need to be wise. This is you. You deserve all those good things. Whoever this person is, this person thinks that you are gold. They see you as their perfect match. When they look at you, they see that you are the best thing that they think that you're the best they think that you are the shit you are everything you're fine they think that you are fine you are fine you're one fine individual they think that you're perfect and this person is waiting for you Stand up for yourself. To do what's right. But they you don't know your worth. You don't. You don't want to deal with pain. You don't want to deal with pain. You have to deal with pain to get that perfect match. So at the end of this month, you are going to be presented with that same old choice. You have a decision to make. Are you ready to feel alive again? Are you ready to let go of your old ways? With the magician reversed, are you ready for this change? Because it's time for a change. The longer you keep that wedge in the wheel, the longer you fight destiny with that wheel of fortune reversed, the longer you're going to be in an unhappy relationship. Whatever it is. Somebody is clinging to a situation, perhaps for the children or the child. Maybe because of the memories, whatever. And it's weighing them down. It is weighing them down heavily. You have to experience pain. You have to stand up for yourself to unite with your perfect match. You have somebody else. You do. It's brought to you from above. It's a soulmate. A new one. But you have to realize what you're worth. And right now, somebody doesn't. It is definitely a soulmate connection. There's no doubt about it. Could be with an Aries. Could be with a Capricorn. Um, could be with another Taurus. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, could be with a Gemini. Either way. It's time for you to go. It's time for you to go into the unknown. It's time for you to face your fears. Let this person rescue you from this situation that is not healthy.
be kind to yourself. And that is what I have. Good luck.